Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. In this episode, I want to go and look at Rootery, the Rooster Reborn stuff as much as anything else. But first of all, let's go downstairs and have a look at some of this processing that we've been doing. For um, well, really what it's all to do with this, uh, for Iridium, I'm not quite sure what we need Iridium for, but let's have a look down here. I actually do know what we use Iridium for. So let's have a look. So in here, I've been making these, haven't I? So let's have a look at the uses of that. So the uses of that, okay, we can make a lithium battery, but it's pretty expensive for, for what we actually want. But this Fuston, I think that's supposed to be fusion reactor, because I can't find Fuston anywhere. With a Wolframium cell and a lithium cell, we'll produce iridium. And the uses of iridium, obviously we can basically smelt it to an iridium ingot. And then from that, what can we do with that? Shaped crafting, shapeless crafting. Let's go back here, shaped crafting. We can make things like lapodric packs and iridium alloy ingots. I think this is the important one. So I look, yes, so we can then just shape it back to iridium ore. So this one here, the uses of that basically will produce with one dash will produce a, a block of iridium okay same with that one let's decompose it i think this is the important one the implosion compressor because we're getting reinforced iridium plates i don't know if there's any other recipes in here nope and the use of that one is to make a reactor casing from big reactors i wonder if that's part of what it's all about and of course we could make a qed quantum admission decompiler which we already got actually in a laser I think that's part of the, the stuff but I reckon that we need to make these superconductors because the superconductors will make the super condent condensator and I think that's the important one we got to super condensator electron pack and a magic energy absorber from tech reborn I think that's what we're actually aiming at. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. Obviously, the recipe for this is like tin and tungsten, so these would normally be fairly cheap, I reckon. <laughs> not today, or not in this pack, anyway. So we're using these industrial centrifuges. And what I've discovered with this is that it will do this to, uh, today, I think. Yep. I've brought some cryostabilized flux to down from the other side so let's just connect up to that one in fact I actually would like to make some more cryostabilized flux let's do that I set up a crafting recipe for this now so we can actually craft this let's just craft five of those start that uh, I'll show you that when we move to the other base I think I've I set up the recipe automation of that so it's fairly straightforward actually it's not difficult at all so that's why I didn't bother setting it up now and I want to do it over here. Let's actually take this one across. Oh, I need to be up here a bit. I'll do. Nope. Try again. Good. Got it. The star. We'll just take this one, say, two blocks away. So they don't connect. Maybe here. Nope. At the end. It's just out of range, unless you're exactly underneath it. We can bring that down. Like this. I'm not going to do, bring them down too far. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. So here we are. We can put this one down like this on the end of that, and that'll get power, as you can see. And we can also do the same with this one here. A bit awkward. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm also going to sp spread this all around it. like that I think I want to do one underneath it as well if I'm not too low down can I do that oh, yes I can good and one more at this side I think we'll just do it like this so that's getting power from all sides and so it's, and this is only getting it from the top so to make the, which ones do we need to make? We need to make some Wolframium 
the cells. So let's look at the recipe for that. So that's the uh, ellipse surface rock. I think it's ellipse surface rock or subsurface rock. And we'll get the ellipse surface rock out of here. We'll need a. I'll get. F yeah, I'll get out some of those. Two stacks. Like that. Put one stack in here. I'll put the other stack in here. Which, of course, you can actually reach, no problem. And we'll come out of here and we'll get out four empty cells. And we'll put the empty cells in here first of all, so we actually know this is the first one we've done. As soon as you do that, it should start to process like that, as you can see. And we'll do the other one over here. And we'll see if it makes a difference. So what in the meantime, I'm going to go over to the other base and show you the Ruti Reborn stuff. I think we'll do that later on when we come back. Put that back over there. So I'll show you the other base first of all. And how I've made the cryo, cryo, oh, cryogenic, um, those cry, what are they called? Cryo stabilized flux flip. And sure enough, I've got the five now. Like that. So let's go over there. Oh, and I've also done something below here. I removed the, and from underneath here, I removed everything, all the mob spawners and things. I've been lighting it up and adding a second layer to the, fl to the floor. It takes quite a while. And doing the lighting as well, but that's not finished yet. Let's go up. I want to go this way. Just check the gliders on. Because that's the fast, it's basically, it's not the fastest way, because we can use the, um, the warp stone as the fastest way. And between episodes I've been doing a bit of tidying up, as you can see. So when I get near, I press G and just slow down to, to sort of, I set it up now, I've got four, four elevator blocks. And I changed the floors because it was driving me crazy, I didn't like that. With these, with, with this C-tones, it's much better, you can see the lines. So what I've done here is I've brought the two snow golems over here with their annihilation plane, so they're not going to cause any more lag. And I've put a sand muffler on it. Here I've set up the, the cube of... Uh, in ME interfaces and molecular assemblers, which you only, but it was basically you just got one connection, and I've set up some storage buses on the outside of these, so it'll it'll basically store stuff in here like that, as you can see. As long as I've not got the same recipes in here, it's fine. And the same up there, and they're basically all ready to go for them whenever we need some stuff. I also moved the CPUs down here, so they're all lined up like that, and in between here I've set up here's a row of chemical decomposers and here a row of synthesizers and you could I put labels on or frames on and put the item in the frame it doesn't look, the frames don't always work as you would expect them to do but it looks it doesn't look too bad so you can tell what things are doing and that one there's got no nothing in it because there's no, there's no recipe in there yet and I did the same on this side, actually, yes, here. And these are two special decomposers. This one was actually decomposing uh, blue cobblestone, because he's gonna, he's gonna remove blue cobblestone in the next release, I think, because it suits to-do list. And that's a good source of lapis, so I'm taking advantage of that. And this is decomposing um, compressed coal, uncompressed coal. And that fact, that should be working, because there is this one here set up to turn on if that's less than 640,000 carbon in the system. Hmm. So I'll have to check that in a minute. And this one here is doing what? Oh yeah, this is doing potassium nitrate. In fact, actually, I think from this one, if we look at the, the uses of the small gunpowder, if we decompose it, oh, yeah, there we go. We get carbon as well as silicon, uh, sulfur. So we get carbon coming out of this as a, as a secondary source anyway. And I was throwing it all away, but I decided that was a bad idea <laughs> since I ran out. So let's have a look. I've got 171,000 of those. So that's no big deal. That's going... Actually, that's going down fairly fast, isn't it? I wonder where that's going to. Let's have a look at carbon. Yeah, we've got, well, that's going down a bit. It was very slowly. I'm not going to worry about that too much. The coal 
The other one actually does worry me a bit, the carbon. What's going on? They won't compress coal. I wonder where that's going to. I'll have to check. That may be making... Actually, I don't think it's making anything down here because I'm not getting any lag down here at all. So that's what I've done here. I've just got some chests. Oh, yes, I've got the minerals or the ore processing stuff in there, but I haven't filled in this yet. So that's the, it should be the eight. Yep, yeah, that's the eight ore processors, and they haven't got all of that stuff on it yet. So that's an import bus. That's also wrong. That should be a, an export bus. Hmm. And underneath they'll have import buses. And I'll do that, fix that later on. So that's this side down here. What I was going to set up here was the, um, this where has it gone to I need it's just basically it's the witch water processing but I haven't done that yet but what I will do is look oh yeah here okay so here we've got the items that we can craft so we can create a bliss powder here and a cryoflux and a red, uh, redstone energy flux duck so let's look at that recipe for that one have I got flux duck actually yes here we go so we get those like that and then we can make this so this is basically made from an empty red, redstone energy flux duct and you fill that with two pieces of um, redstone and that level fills it in so what's coming out there is it will pass out if there's a filter underneath there. i better dig those up you can see what i'm talking about i've got a chest here and i also need the other wrench Let's do this wrench here. If I shift click that, that's basically extracting everything that comes into it. So on this one here, if I select this one, here I've got, it will put in empty flux ducts, snowballs, and some cryostabilized flux duct, the empty ones. And then they will get filled up. And on here, we're going to get redstone, and we're going to get cryothium dust. Now the cryothium dust, which is here, Let's look at the recipe for that. It is basically snowballs, which is no problem. Uh, saltpeter dust, I think that's nitro. There we go, potassium nitrate and redstone. And blizz powder. And the, the blizz powder recipe for that is made by basically taking redstone and putting it onto a snowball, destabilized redstone. So that's two redstone dust plus one snowball will produce one blizz powder. So that's all that's how, all that's all it's basically all it's doing. So I just come into here and then there's a filter on each one of those to filter it into that and you go into there and when it's finished anything, oops, just turn that around, I want to do that. Anything in here will get smelted, will get pulled out into this one here, as you can see by the configuration it pulls it from the left and the, the bottom and it outputs it to the top. So then you're getting your molten liquids coming in here and it's then filling up whatever it is and that then goes out the red side here and up back into the system and it obviously works very, fairly well here we've got just a bit of food but if I get hungry when I'm down here and uh, and the waste stone so let's go back to the I want to set this up let's go and put these away actually because I don't want to carry those with me at the moment this is just an area where I keep in little bits and pieces oh it was a hopper wasn't it I'll probably replace the hopper with a an ender tank I've got an ender tank and that's the witch water ender tank, isn't it? That's the one, yep. That fills it up, the barrel, and then this takes whatever it takes to do, which I think was Sultan. Let's go back to base. Let's do it the quick way this time. Let's take the warp stone. And base. Let's go downstairs and have a look at these now we can actually have already have a quick look at these and I'll probably already show you the difference so this is now six percent this will be about one percent because each face is the takes the energy and gives the energy for processing it doesn't seem to make any difference if you put speed up grades in here or anything else speed upgrades or the energy capacity does make any difference I can show you that in fact let's have a look Speed upgrades really won't make any difference, just use it a load of power. Um, 
that's my terminal. But the energy ones, what are the, oh, here we go. We've got 35 energy and storage units in here. Take those. So when you look at this here, it tells you what it's got. So max input energy buffer size. So the energy buffer size is 10K EU. Okay, we put those into here like that. Oops, wrong place. Should go into that. Look at it here. The energy buffer is still 10K. So it makes no difference. Unless, of course, that GUI is lying. We could then test that on a industrial craft machine. So, for instance, where are they? Oh, they're over the other side. <laughs> Oops. They're at the other side over here. Let's jump over here. So what have we got here? That's Tech Reborn, Tech Reborn, Recycler Energy. Okay, so I can right click this one. In fact, that should be working. I'm not sure why it isn't. Let's have a look. Does it tell me what I've got? Does it tell me anything on this thing? No, it doesn't really, does it? We put it in there, and the power went up straight away. So it gets increased by 350 EU. But I don't really care about that, to be honest with you. It works fast enough. In fact, oh. Well, this is working away. Plenty of pipe to grow there. And plenty of uh, scrap in here. We check the scrap. Ah, oh, okay, one million. Yes, it's going up. Um... I think the problem is that it's not getting anything from... Maybe the Venus cores are finished. Right, okay, good. So let's have a look at the Router Reborn stuff. Router Reborn is pretty neat, actually. Let's take out of... I think it's in the end of this big bag here. I've got eight industrial things. So you've got to be very careful with these. You make sure you use the electric wrench in lossless mode. Otherwise... Um, things don't work very well. I'm going to just put it down here. I think we'll put it down here. Let's say four for that one and then four for the other side. Like that. So what you can do with the, router, with the router reborn stuff is over here. Let's get the chest out of here. Basically, you've got all these routers here. Oh, that's not very good. It sorted that badly. And those routers take upgrades, and I think the upgrades are already installed on the, in these routers. I'll probably just have to move them around a bit when I put them down. And it doesn't actually matter if you put them at either end like this. They can insert and they can extract. So I've got three down here. Let's just do this. So, one thing we were doing was... Um, Ellipse surface rock wasn't it? The other one is Pluto rock, I think. Pluto rock. Now the uses of this one here, let's take two stacks of that. Yeah, that makes the lithium cells. So 32 plus a deck reborn cell will make a filled lithium cell. I'm not sure when they are in the process of these if you get them back again. Now, on these things here, we've got... Oh, yes, I already set up to slot one. So these machines have got nothing in them at the moment. So if I tell it... And here we've got some different filters on it. In fact, if you want to delete one of these ones, you can actually shift... I think you can shift right-click it. Uh, no, you press delete on it. That's what you do. And that's deleted it. And then it's returned the, this machine filter back to me like that. To install it you shift right click it like that. So these have all got machine, so basically it's pointing to the industrial centrif centrifuge. So if we had other machines in here, so for instance, let's put down say a vacuum up at the bottom of this one. A bit daft I know but that doesn't make any sense. Now we now get the vacuum chest down here as a machine. So you can actually route things into these. So for example, I want to, you can also route it to multiple, so I could sort of like vacuum chest as well. Just click it, left click it in fact. 
Okay, so here then this one here's the bandwidth that just does it a stack at a time. And here's redstone, which we ignore. So we don't care about those so much. What we care about is the, the machine filter, and it has an item filter too. But we're actually putting things in, so we know what we're putting in, so we don't really care about that. And then here it's set to currently output mode, and here it's switched to it's actually in slot mode. So so you can do it to sides and you can do it to slots. And then you go basically go up from one to zero. So let's put in something to zero. Let's just put one item in there. That'll go across to one of these machines here and it goes into the middle. Let's take that out and do the same thing again. And then increase the slot and put it in. Goes out. This time it's gone somewhere else. It's gone into this machine in this slot here. Uh, it'll do in a round robin as well, I think. That's one of its options. Let's have a look. I think. Currently in output mode. I think it's got a round robin mechanism. Slot 2. Let's do that again. It doesn't go anywhere. Because there's only two slots in these machines. So the first slot is the one you're actually doing. And the second slot is this one here where you're actually... Um, so that's the material you're doing, and this is the container. So slot zero and slot one. So we know that now, so we can basically say, let's send that to slot zero. I've probably already gone into, probably gone into this one over here in slot zero, good. So what you'd do, therefore, is to have some empty cells like this. And you put an empty cell into slot one. So in here, for instance, we'd put this into slot one, and this is in output mode, like that. And if we do that, they should disappear. Oh, maybe I haven't set the machine filter up, I haven't. So let's set the vacuum industrial centrifuge, and they'll have disappeared out of there. And you'll find probably one in here. Oh, they went both into there, and nothing into there. I'm not sure how many you have to put in. Let's have a look. I've got some more in the that chest over there, haven't I? Empty cells. So let's put all of these empty cells into that thing here. This router. There's 9 and 64. I've just shift clicked those in. So this has got the 64 and this has got the 9. So that's how it's working. So basically it puts one in each or the number you've got up to 64 I guess. Huh? So you then have to use an interface on this a blocking interface to do one at a time. So that's those two. Now this one here, we could use this as, again, it's in output mode, but we could actually convert this to extract mode, like this. So now it's in extract mode. And there's nothing in that slot. But we need to change this to either a side. So this would be the west side. So the west side is red, I think. So look, orange. Doesn't look very orange, does it? So we could say or orange side, and then that should then extract everything from the orange side. But I haven't got a machine filter in here yet, so let's put a, let's go and make a machine filter. So let's get rid of all of this searches I've been doing in the past, and there are a few. That's why I was moving stuff around. Yep, Tech Reborn, last put like that. So it's got quite a few items in Tech Reborn. No, I'm doing the wrong one, aren't I? I'm doing Router Reborn. Spelt wrong. Right, there's actually not so many items in Router Reborn. But it's got the useful RR pickaxe and it's got this wrench. And this wrench is fairly straightforward. Five pieces of iron. Let's build one of those. It's got a vein hammer which has got which you could make, except for you can't make diamond hammers. And then it's got some some liquid routers, an energy router, which actually might be quite useful as well. Can we make one of those? Yes, we can. Let's see if we can make one of those. We need an eye vendor, which I won't have, so we'll have nothing but an eye vendor. So let's just make that. Make a couple of those. Four, I think. So we need this one, that's a bit of a faff in it. And that's just iron and the pearls and that. So let's just make a couple of those. Put four. 
put those into there and then let's take the energy one because the energy might be useful as a way of powering this thing to go I've not tried that yet something to try okay anyway the one I wanted to make was the machine up machine filter upgrade which is this one like this fairly straightforward just a book and a redstone torch probably haven't got redstone torch oh, I have good diamond two gold and four iron not too, not too expensive at this stage of the game and then you've got an item one which is using a chest I don't have a chest because I'm going to ch I know I keep chests but they're fairly straightforward to make let's make ten uh, not I can make four I can make two make two I'm not going to get some wood in the next bit oops missed that one I pressed the wrong button And that's useful for the extract of the items, isn't it? So let's go back over here and set that up again. Where are we? Over here, good. So I basically set this up to extract on the west side here. Let's have a look at the minimap. Just double check it is the west side. Yes, it is orange. And if I put in the bandwidth filter, which I've got to basically come like this and shift right click on it, on the machine here like that and I could also take the item filter because we probably as an extract it's probably a good idea and shift right click on that and it says item filter machine filter installed and item filter installed so then you get these two tabs so we can then select the industrial centrifuge have a look if I actually extracted anything machine filter slot zero oh, that doesn't let's just change it to slot one item filter a oh, white list okay let's go back to this one and then change this to oh, want it output I want it inside and I want this one selected good let's just change that to blacklist and it should then do everything and it still hasn't pulled anything out probably nothing in the middle ones Ah, oh, there isn't let's change that to, to slot no, no, not doing very well. Let's try that one. Slot one. Ah, it might not work because it might only work if it's got an item in slot two. Now, I don't think I can do that. Okay, we can't do that. Let's remove this. Let's remove this now. Don't need that anymore. That was just for demonstration. Let's put down this. Now, what can we do with this thing? Sender. Okay. Hmm. You can't configure the sides. It's got one side there. Maybe that's the side it goes out. And let's take the wrench here. Does that, does that twist it around? Shift right click it. Oh, it doesn't. Huh. break it with a normal pick it doesn't tell me I can break it with actually no it says you can break it so let's shift right ah it wants to go this way without any doubt about it let's have break it well that's got WIP on which means it work in progress and I think that might be the output side let's just try it anyway Well, it connects there, no problem. Now, are these machines powered? Yes, they are. Okay, good. So maybe it'll work. So let's just try and see if we get some more. Um, this time I want some Pluto Rock. I've got Pluto Rock. Oops. Right, let's put the Pluto Rock. That goes into, into this one, doesn't it? Let's just put two in each one. That goes in. like that and I've got four of those so each one of these should have two Pluto rock in the middle which it has like that it's got power it's got that it should actually be working so we'll look if it does work it doesn't look like it is working because I would expect to see these rotating 
let's just test it by doing this like this. Is that rotating? No. The rotation doesn't always work. It's a bit strange. In this case, it has, they are working, because you can see it. And this case, it's also working, but this one isn't. I wonder if this is wrong. Let me just try doing something else for this. It was a bit heavy with my pickaxe. It's a bit fast at the moment. Let's see if I can put this down on there. Yep, that's got the red side. Uh, it's still got zero. This has got power, but the power's not going up and down, which is a bit strange. I don't know why I'm using the right one. I'll try use double check the uses of that. Centrifuge, yes, because li lithium cells. That's the trouble. With it. That's why it takes such a long time because it needs a hundred million EU. And even though you're giving it RF, it doesn't. Uh, that doesn't make sense to me about Tech Reborn. A bit weird. Anyway, let's come back over here. So that's 19%. So well, that'll be about 3%. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. A bit puzzled by that. Never mind. Now the other thing this has got is all sorts of things. It's got these inventory cables. They're quite neat. Let's just connect an inventory table, a cable to this one. Like that. Where's that vacuum chest? Just an inventory, really, that's what I'm using it for. So, in here, you can right click these inventory cable. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I think I'll be have to use a right hand, uh, an empty hand to do that. Or the wrench. Let's have a look. Right click it. Nope. If I shift right click it, it'll break it. As far as I know these things, you can activate them. It's actually not something I tried. That doesn't seem to be. Because you should be able to set the direction of these things, uh, of the of these inventory cables. Maybe they've changed that since the, the earlier versions. Doesn't seem to do much to me. What else have we got in here? A special chest. These are actually quite interesting. Let's put this down. Oh, I want to put it one. Yeah, that'll do. And I really want it one block higher. Let's just remove that. This one you can. You can't shift click it. You need an axe. So an axe, and it breaks with a very easily with an axe like that. Now the special chest will have ended up in here, of course, it's sitting on the, <laughs> on the vacuum hub. Maybe vacuum hub wasn't a good idea, but it was a part of cleaning up. So let's put that one on top of there. And put the special chest now underneath that. It does actually work for this as well. You can shift click that. Let's just put some Pluto rock down here. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put a special chest on top of this if I can. So when you shift right click this, you get a side. And this is side 5. So side five, side three. Let's remove this. Uh, that works, you right clicking on that one. Side zero. So that's zero, probably one's the top. So we got to here, side two, side four. So I guess one is the top. I can't see it. What I'll do is I'll put the vacuum hopper down here. We can get up and then we can see this one here. Shift right click that side one. So that's how that's numbered. What you can do with that is you can put things in it. So for instance, here is an advanced packager or an item filter advanced. Let's do that one. And then you right click, shift the right click the side. Here. So let's say the top um, with a wrench. And you can put the pack this into this slot here. So then this thing is then can have filtered. Shift right click it. And you can say here's an item filter. In fact, I think what you have to do with the item filter is set it up first of all. Yeah, 
and you've got an advanced item filter so you can say let's put into this just these and these are the whitelisted items like that so only these items can go in at the top and then it's got use NTB data and use metadata well that's basically um, damage and that is enchantment simple as that really so then we can feed it in let's just see if we can do that so we could use that inventory cable I've got four of those like this and that goes only on the top side so we put it down like this and then we say for example put that one in there and maybe I can do I don't know whether this will work or not like the other you know, I could just be in here won't it you're supposed to be able to say these are extract modes now if I look on here go back to this one here and then there are upgrades for that I wonder if I've got made one of those there's an extract upgrade upgrade extract basic and I think if we can put this I don't think we can't put this in here you see because you can't seem to do anything with this at the moment. I'm not sure why. What? No. That work on the that'll work on the chest. So, for instance, oh yeah, this will be a good, good example. So shift right click that one with a wrench. I think we can put the filter back in. And we can put this extract. I don't think you can do anything with the extract. I should right click it in this space. No, nope. it's just an extract. So you put that, <laughs> shift right click it, of course, with the, the wrench. You can put that in here. So then we can put items in here. So we can put items in there, and the only things that get extracted, we can put that in, doesn't get extracted. And then these should get extracted if I've got this set up right. I don't think I have. Well, I've run out of time. So what I'm going to do between now and the next episode is carry on making the base, um, the factory, because it's it has improved the frame rate, but not much, but it has improved. And I'm going to carry on with the UU matter. Oh, I didn't show you that, did I? Well, the UU matter that we've got in the system now is a, it's a reason it went up quite a lot, and we need to centrifuge that. To make I can't remember what it is the next thing for the remote machines let's have a quick look before I go it's been a long time that's the trouble you forget so basically you matter we've got 360 and the uses of that oh you can make dash or we don't care we don't care about that shape crafting we can make woods so you can make quite a few things with this but I think if I remember it was something like shape crafting, it must be shape crafting, wasn't it? You can make emeralds and diamonds, and here we go. Just like dust, copper dust. That's right. Expensive way to make lapis lazuli, tin dust, dehydrate dust. Where has it gone to? Oh, I probably missed it. This one. And the uses of that one. this one so we basically got one antimony dust and that was the uses of that one it's all it's all about basically it was to be able to make battery eyes no I don't think that was the one and to make ingots oh maybe it was to make antimony ingots uses of that one yeah to make reinforced machine casings because we need four of those and the uses of that one was to make an advanced machine casing that's the Warren Buffy Buffett quest so that's what we're trying to do with this stuff it's going to be a long process because we need four reinforced to make one advanced with one super condensator and that's where the, this comes in so and two steel machine hulls I've got four of those hopefully that's not going to need thousands of those but anyway we'll see 
let's get out of that. So, until next time, I'm going to say bye for now. <laughs>